Hey guys, it's Rory and today I'm going to show you two different ways to actually start up Kerbal Space Program in borderless windowed mode. So it's a quick little tip which can help you, um, it means you can alt tab faster and things, it's just a kind of useful thing to be able to do. I like to run games in borderless windowed mode if I can, because um, I run on multiple monitors as well. And yeah, it makes things easier sometimes. So I'm going to show you a way for doing it in Steam and a way for doing it if you don't have Steam. Um, so we'll start off with the Steam version, which is the simplest one. Um, and if you've got Steam, this is probably the way you should, you should do it. So you have to go into your game library, right click on Kerbal Space Program and click Properties. Then here, where this window opens up, you do Set Launch Options and you um, put in Dash Pop-up Window, just like I have there. Then once you've done that, hit OK and close that. And then start up Kerbal Space Program just as you normally would. And uh, you should see in a second, here we go. The game, if you've got it in windowed mode normally, the game will actually start up without a border, which, you know, is normal for now. Um, and what we're gonna do is obviously then set it to the resolution that your game is normally in. So if you've started up your game and um, it's running in full screen just as it normally would, don't worry yet, that'll change in a second. All you need to do is wait till game is finished loading. Then if we go into settings, then graphics, then you want to set your resolution here to the same as your full screen monitor. So for me it's 1080p, but you need to disable full screen and then hit accept. And there you go, you're in full screen, uh, borderless windowed. And the way you know that is if you go to your desktop, sorry, alt tab, you'll see KSP in the background of like your taskbar and everything, um, which means, and it also alt tabs really, really quickly. Anyway, now I'm going to show you the way to do it without um, Steam, if you don't have Steam. So it's very similar. We just have to go to where your um, Kerbal Space Program directory is. And then we're going to take the KSP EXE, um, the executable. If you want to use the 64-bit one, you can do that. That's fine. And we're going to um, right-click, send to desktop, create shortcut. Here we go. Um, so we've made a shortcut to the game. Then we're just going to call it whatever you want. KSP is fine. Um, and here we go. Now we open up the properties of the shortcut and you'll see here there's a thing called target. So we just, like we did with the Steam version, put a space at the end of the target, then do a dash pop-up window. Same way as we did with Steam, so it's the, just a minus sign, then pop-up window or one word. Then hit apply, okay, whatever, and start up the game and the same thing should happen. So that's just a launch command, and you can add the launch commands through Steam or through a shortcut. And you'll see now it's loading, but it's also alt-tabbing really quickly, so we know that's worked. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope the video helps. Um, if it did, then give it a thumbs up or a favourite. And if you have any suggestions, questions, or problems, then leave a comment down below. But anyway, as always, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.